Hey everyone, Phil here. So I've been working with GA4 for the last week and I want to show you my thoughts. A couple of pros, a couple of cons, and just what I think about GA4 so far. Let's get started. Um, let's talk about the good news. I like talking about good news, right? The pros are the event tracking is awesome and flexible. Um, event tracking has taken a new prominence within Google Analytics 4 versus UA and um, yeah I just think they're doing a great way to they're doing a great job as far as measuring engagement on your site and it's not just conversions now you can think of events as kind of like micro conversions so um, we'll get into that more in a moment it's got a super clean UX and it was super easy for me to implement with Google Tag Manager the good thing is you can run both of them concurrently as of right now. I got up and running relatively quickly and uh, it automatically registers a lot of events. So the engineers at Google really thought about how to make this useful for the greatest number of people with the least amount of work. And GA4 automatically registers some events like outbound link clicks and uh, a couple of others automatically so you can promote these events to conversions so you'll install GA4 on your site watch the automatic events fire off and you can look at them in a dashboard and say oh this is an outbound link click I actually want to make that a conversion with just the click of a button right super cool um, so so far I'm a big fan of all the conversion tracking and I think the biggest thing that I see is the conversion tracking overhaul there is a bunch of ways to do conversions in the universal analytics that um, aren't my favorite so this kind of forces some awesome standardization here's the cons right I was a little disappointed to find out that the traffic or your record of traffic is going to start at zero with no if you've got the way i implemented the universal analytics i'm going to have to start with zero data there's exceptions depending on the tags that you use but most likely you're going to have to start at day zero data which i'm not a super fan of but that's okay so i guess in order for me to make roi and um year over year month over month decisions i'm going to look at two data data pools for this particular instance i'm not a super big fan of it it is what it is right another thing i'd say as a con is as much as i like the flexible event tracking conversions it's just not necessarily intuitive to folks who haven't implemented the data layer so um and event pushes right so there's going to be some learning involved on this I think it's for the best, but that, it, it warrants a discussion, right? The next con I would say is there's no e-commerce for now, no enhanced e-commerce attribution. I know if you got an e-commerce site, you're clamoring for it. So um, I'm almost certain that functionality is going to roll out soon. Keep in mind, we're still in a beta, right? And I and some users have talked about the slow data push through. That takes around 24 to 48 hours for you to see that data roll in. Um, I don't use GA quite like that, so I'll give you an example. I don't log on to GA to check today's traffic, right? I usually check, use my Google Analytics to check campaign performance, landing page performance over a specific timeline. I'm not really windowing to see what's happening as of now or yesterday, right? I look in bigger terms, but some people do. And I think they'll be a little bit disappointed because it's going to take some time for that data to show up. Uh, I'm not sure the technical reason, but a couple of people have mentioned this problem. So let's get some final thoughts in here before I uh, finish up. I think it's important to remind everyone that you have time. Um, when Google announces something new, that usually means that the older version is getting sunsetted, right? So there's. I can almost guarantee the eventual sunset of Universal Analytics, although it will take some time because how many sites are still on the old platform? I've got some resources in, in below that uh, talk about this, right? But UA isn't going anywhere fast, right? The flexibility, I like that because I can run both concurrently, right? So all my sites are now running both concurrently. And uh, although the features are sometimes scant, especially when you think of e-commerce, um, we're just going to get more features as we go. Keep in mind, this is a beta. 
Uh, my next point would be learning, right? Well, this is a good opportunity to learn how to harness the power of GTM and event tracking. Stick around on this channel while we talk about that more. But uh, I think it's an excellent opportunity to strengthen your game uh, as far as these two um, powerful tools go as far as analytics. The resources, I'm not the first person to do a GA4 video. There's tons of resources. Um, this site, this channel is one, and I'm gonna send a few more in the search bar, but the other thing is don't freak out. I know when I heard that there was a new Google Analytics, my first instinct was to freak out. It wasn't really until I dug in um, that there wasn't too much for me to freak out about. I think I had concerns about functionality loss and uh, just difficulty of implementation, but it's fairly easy to implement and uh, a lot of the functions that I care about are still there with a couple of new things. So there's really not a lot to freak out about. And uh, my other final thought is don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.